Hey guys, welcome to some more Let's Play Deus Ex. We last left off, we just escaped the hotel with a bunch of people searching for the hacker to try and kill him. And now, I don't know what we're doing. You shouldn't be here. Get moving. Okay, buddy. Jeez. What is this? Oh, that's the hotel. Interesting. Anyway. So let's see, we can either go back to the hotel or enter to me. Let's do the side quest, actually. Let's do the side quest before moving on to the upper upper hangsha. I think that's a good idea, right? Just get it out of the way. And that that bartender side quest seems like it'll be a long one. So do that. First let's stop by the hotel. Hopefully we don't run into another side quest on the way. I feel like we might. I guess it'll be okay. Hopefully it'll be okay. Okay. Whoop. No, it's not this floor, is it? I think it's the next floor. This one, right? Pole doll. Ling, did you find her? I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Another task? Oh my god. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain evil and misery man. of this city. Evil man. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. Uh, there must be another way to remove Chan. Details. What is it exactly you want me to do? Lower hand side is a dangerous place. I know Diamond Chan stay at an apartment near a rooftop. Knock him out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. Uh -huh. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Some way in his apartment will be enough. He may be dead though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. I'll do it. Good. Right. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. Alright, anything else? Anything else I should know? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. Even alone, Chan is dangerous. Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here. Good, good luck, Mr. Jensen. Uh, I will wait here. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna take a slight break, so I'll be right back just quickly. Okay, guys, I'm back from that quick break. Sorry about that. But we're continuing on. Alright, so we have another side quest now. Oh, I should read, read the autopsy report? Okay, hold on. I need to get the pocket. Map. Let's 
see. So your head channel, like carrying lacerations, internal bleeding. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No <laughs> drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. What the hell? Oh my god. Find Lee's apartment. Enter Diamond Chan's apartment. Let's see. I'm guessing there are none of them are in this district anymore, so I can continue on. Wait, can I go this way? Goddamn coppers. Oh yeah, I can go this way. What are you looking for, my wife? Guns? Hacking equipment? What makes you think I'm looking for that kind of stuff? Hey, I don't want to step on your toes. Merchant at a Hunkwa Hotel. If I ever need that. The Yozao District. Yo's a district. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like the worst at Asian accents. God damn it! Why do I keep rotating my mouse wheel? I don't want to pull out these guns. Okay. So let's go all the way to the top here. Let's do it. Whose house is this again? I have no idea where I am right now. Dazzle Me Magazine. Credit chip. Oh yeah. 103 credits. So I came here for some credits. I guess that's cool. Okay, roof level. Good job, Lao Wei. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. Hack it and turn off its security protocols. 
What? Which one is it? All three of them? Oh my god. Oh my god! Access granted. There we go. Uh, inactive. One down, two to go, my friend. Two to go. So let's see. Map, map, map. One's over there. One apartment's here. Okay, that shouldn't be... Let's go to Lee's apartment right now, actually. One A, eh? A eh? security rating three A. Eh? No problem for me, cause I am security level three. Okay. Let's go. Come on, do this, do this, do it, do it. And... Okay, so now, what am I supposed to do with Lee? Um... Um, Malik doesn't have I'm sure I'm Find Lee? Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Answering machine. I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Maybe on his computer. Master Player 69! Oh, yeah. Master Player 69. Wow. This guy is on a high horse. Oh god. No, I messed up. Just clicked. No, click it. Damn it. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh my god, it's taking so long. Access granted. Phew. Hi, you fell that we want to, it's the quarter of the concern kind of the investments in the land. Tight lips when it comes to business, but then again, I'm not surprised at blah blah blah. Uh, do not disgrace us. My, my son, your behavior as of late has been disgraceful. Up until now, I have done everything in my power to support and protect you. But my patience is running thin. If you do not change your embarrassing lifestyle, I would have no choice but to remove you from both the company and the family. Meaning, no more financial support or immunity. You dishonor us all with your whoremongering. Regards, Father. P.S. Your mother as well, but she is disappointed. I suggest you apologize to her. Send flowers. Malik. <laughs> Looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Really? There's more? Oh man, how the hell am I supposed to find this? Is there more?
gonna run up your water bill, bitch. <laughs> Malik, oh. I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Whoa, leg. Whoa. I think it'd be something here, but no. Haha, -ha, running up your water bills again. God damn it. Put it in. Put it in his refrigerator back where I found it. Alright. It's not perfect, but whatever. Anything here? Nope. Open these drawers. Phone, nope. There is no TV here. Why is there no TV here? Uh, I swear there should be something else if he said that. There's something in here. There is not. You'll find your refrigerator all over the place. Sucker. Oh. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Hell yeah. Found it. Okay, so what's here? Diamond Chance apartment. All right, let's get to Diamond Chance apartment, and then we'll go finish the rest of this relay. Oh, yeah. Is it here? Oh, you didn't notice your door open? Oh, she did. Chan. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Just, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, 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 just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't turn around. Yep, keep playing that sick. Yeah! <laughs> Good nighty night. Okay, do you have a gun? Oh, a revolver. Drop Chan off the rooftop. Or plant the jerks. I'll plant the jerks. But I don't know where. Where would I plant it? I'm serious though. <laughs> where would I plant it?
Oh, my truck's here. Return to me. Okay. Nighty night. Sucker. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. And, whew, oh yeah. Freaking mastermind. Alright, and the second one is around here. There we go. Hack this one. Disable all the security. Okay, you ready? And spam. Access granted. Inactive. Good. Second relay is down. Only one remaining. Thank you, Bobby Bell. Bobby Bell. Okay, that's one. All over here. A long ways away. God. So much running. Let's see. Hello. I heard you. Did you? Oh shit. Points available. Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. Very soon. And I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yu Zhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Go to Jaya's building. Okay, so where is it? No. Here. Hengsha Court Gardens. God. Go to Hengsha Court Garden. Oh, I heard you. Did you hear me? Can you find me though? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Actually, right downstairs here. Shita. Oh no, I got myself in a pretty bad situation. But it's okay. Oh, oh I died. Really? From that height? I swear I've dropped from higher up. Oh, it's bullshit. That is a bunch of bullshit. Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. A very soon. And I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yu Zhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Get us the money she owes. Got credits? Nope. Oh. Get out of here. There you go. Chill. Go to. Meet Jaya. Back in here again. I hope 
we're going the right way. No, I'm gonna be cheesed. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit! Uh... It's nothing personal, lady. I'm just here for the money. Give it over and I go. Sure, it's nothing personal to you, but it is my money you're stealing. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tom doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate. I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. I don't know. Whatever. Stretch it's on. Jaya, right? Listen, Jaya. I want to help. I really do. You're obviously a strong-headed woman. That's something I can appreciate. But I need you to give me something I can bargain with. How is it you people say, when the stick doesn't work, use the carrot? Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I am done playing their games. I told you already. I won't pay. What do you want? Yeah, that How much are they asking from you? A couple hundred credits every month. Doesn't look like much, but in the long run, let's just say they've made a very lucrative deal. Especially if you consider I'm not their only client. Couldn't you work without the augment? You wouldn't have gotten into so much trouble if you'd played by the rules. Play by the rules? Let me tell you a little story about playing by the rules. I come from a poor family. He's my father, poor, poor my mother, my two family. sisters, and three brothers, none of them ever amounted to much. When I tried to do better, when I made efforts in school, they said I was wasting my time. I got into business school, and again, they said I was wasting my time. That I could never compete with all those rich kids and their tutors and extra classes. But you did. I did. I finished top of my class. Without the extra help and special attention. Only through blood, sweat, and tears. And then what did my classmates do? They cheated! They once again bought their way to success. And what did my family say? That I had wasted my time. I was just supposed to accept defeat after all the efforts I've made? No. No way! How did you meet Tom? The same way most people end up meeting Tom. I was hurt. And one of his hounds smelled blood. They came to me and offered me help. I was intelligent enough to know it was a bad idea. But angry enough not to care. Offer help. I don't want to speak with them. I don't want to go through all that shit. Demand. Demand. It's a nice sob story, lady, but it doesn't change a thing. In the end, I can't leave here without that money. Then you'll have to take it, because I am not going to give it to you. Uh. 
Don't hurt me. I told you already. I won't pay. What do you want? God damn this bull crap! Offer help. Listen, maybe I can speak to one of Tong's men. Try and get you off the hook. Can you help. do that? I thought you were just another one of his mindless thugs. Why can't I just stick a gun to her head? It's hard to properly express what this could mean for me. Don't thank me yet. I can't guarantee they'll listen, but I'll try. God damn it! God bloody damn it! I just wanted the money from her. I have to go through all this extra bull crap. Ugh. Son of a... This could have been so much easier. I still try again. I told you already. Uh, it's a... Then you Can I just kill you? Come on. Yes, I will. Yes, Do I have like a secret stash of money I can take? I told you already. Listen, mate. Don't. God damn it! I've fudged up. I fudged up. Ah! Oh, no, my social enhancement didn't do it for me. No. Don't hurt me. Just got to your face and blow your head off. to the nightclub anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> Let's buy it. Okay, how do I get back to where I came from? That was definitely not Whatever, I'm not going through that. I'm getting more annoyed with this. I think bringing in Bell Tower to be a good for us. So it'd be so much easier just to stick a gun to her hand and be like, Give me the money. Show me the money. 